Hey there, so while we're stuck in traffic, uh, let's go over what's going on, hey? Update. So over the last couple of days, uh, especially on the last session as I went over that purple crimpy problem, kind of messed up my finger a little bit. So, well, we're still going to go climbing. And that's going to be the whole point of this log is that you can still do stuff when you're injured. Uh, just kind of have to be smart about it, right? I wasn't so smart about it because I wanted I wanted to be stubborn and I wanted to try and you know I wanted to see if my finger was actually really badly injured or not. So um, I had another climbing session um, from last one. We went to the Hive North Shore and um, I gave a couple of the current problems. I gave the black problem a bit ago. It didn't really go that far. I couldn't even pull the first move to the next hold. But uh, yeah, but. I don't think I'm strong enough to pull it regardless, but I'm sure I would have been at least a bit closer if I was able to pull or press off my right hand just a little bit more. Uh, yeah, and then same thing with the moon board. Uh, I, ended up, I ended up giving the crimpy problems, a couple crimpy problems ago, which was, by the way, a bad idea. Uh, so I kind of got, I ended up having on Saturday night and Sunday night so a couple same night, my finger is kind of just really hurt. Well, mostly just my right hand middle finger, right? So this guy right here, you can see it's kind of still a little swollen, a little bit messed up. You can't quite straighten it, right? But yeah, it, um, I've been trying to do a lot of stretches and just antagonistic exercises just to straighten it up a little bit. But yeah, so vlog for today climbing while injured uh, we'll see how it goes today it'll be hopefully it'll take it easier um, the only thing that seems to really hurt it right now is when I do shock loaded or when I crimp on it really hard just certain angles does funky things to it right so let's try not to do that today and uh, while we're stuck in traffic just wanted to update everybody and uh, yeah, we'll get back to it when we get there. Yeah, so as you guys can see, it was, uh, it was a busy day at the Hive North Shore. Uh, this was a couple days after uh, I, I kind of hurt my finger a little bit. It was really busy, so I couldn't really, didn't feel comfortable moving the camera around. Uh, so I just kind of stuck it in the back and I uh, shot a little time lapse of uh, me doing the new set. I uh, couldn't do some of them on the right side because uh, there was a small incident. And let's move on to uh, the harder one, which, well, the black one, which I was talking about. Okay. So essentially, this one had some big shoulder moves off of some uh, small ish ledges. And I just don't think I'm strong enough to pull this regardless, but. You know, having a healthy finger or a healthy hand would have helped. By the way, uh, if you guys want to see the full send of uh, this problem, uh, my buddy Ivan uh, has posted it up on his Instagram. I'll post a link up to this uh, his post on Instagram down below and uh, in the description. Uh, you know, hit him up, give him a follow, give him a like. Um, you know, same thing. Hopefully, if you like this, if you enjoy following this content, find me in Vancouver and stuff then give my give my channel a like give my channel a subscribe and uh hopefully you can get some new notifications or uh give me a message and see what you'd like to try climb and maybe i'll make my way up there and try it left foot matching on the volume yeah like on that right volume you bring your so here we go this this specific video was uh shot a week before when uh, my finger wasn't hurt and uh, I thought I was making good progress on this one. And as you'll see, uh, we'll go back to uh, some of the footage shot this week of uh, me with the not so healthy finger. And uh, there'll be a very, very big difference between how hard I can actually try. Yeah, that was about as close as I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Yeah, no. 
yeah. Sometimes, you know, when you just can't do something <sighs> because you're injured, it can get really yeah. frustrating and you really, really want to show yourself at it over and over and over again and try to convince yourself that you can. But you sometimes can't, right? So I was like, I gave myself another go on it, taped my finger up and said, all right, let's see how it feels. And there, it was just, no, I can't hold on to it. And I just let go of my hand and I didn't even try. Yeah. So there you go. No. No. <laughs> Alrighty, so just pulling into the parking lot here at uh, the High Port Coquitlam. Um, uh, yeah, there's a little bit more traffic than expected today. There's an accident and train and just kind of stupid people. But yeah, we are here. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully, there's not too many uh, crimpers on the new set. And I can climb most stuff. Yeah. Aw. Let's do it. Yeah, again, this one uh, back here a week later. Decided to not even look at that purple problem that hurt my finger. And. Uh, just a quick little shoot through. I spared you guys the boredom of me time lapsing through the easier problems and uh, just shot the more fun problems like this guy here. Right? It's not very hard, just a bit of coordination and just needed to get the timing right. Uh, I forgot what Noah said here. Something like, uh, he said something like, oh, don't bail off the last jug. And I was just being silly and I just did like that. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> but it wasn't so bad. So, yeah. Yeah, this problem was fun. It was a little techy. You just needed to learn how to palm some slopers and keep your feet nice and loaded. Again, you didn't need all the holds. There was ample holds. The setters were very, very generous. So this was that one black problem that was set, um, or one six hex problem I think that was uh, set on this new set and I was just like okay here it is we'll take a look at it they are crimpers I, I know I promised not to climb any crimpers so I looked at it again and said okay yeah maybe we'll give it a couple goes and if there's anything that requires big shock loading um, I'll give up And again, if you guys want to see this one being done, there is a link of uh, my buddy doing this, uh, Marco Parco on Instagram. Um, I'll put up a Facebook link uh, of this one, of him climbing it, and I uh, hope you guys like it again. Same thing, if you like it, give him a like, give him a follow, and hopefully you do the same for my channel and uh, my own account too. So right here, I did the bump in, uh, and match instead of uh, throwing my right hand over top and catching it because my finger can't do it. So, you know, I just climb things slightly differently here and there. And I gave this one a total of uh, two goes as well. Uh, right there, foot came out and I was like, okay, maybe it's possible. See how hard I have to pull on that last move off of my right hand and then I'll decide if I want to give it a go or not. So you can see I still do for the bump. I still go for the bump instead of the cross. Uh, 
Yeah, and right there as I took my left hand off, I just did not feel comfortable pulling a little harder on the right hand. So I uh, gave it a shot, gave it a go, kind of half-assed, I know, didn't really give it. And uh, then I ran away to Kilter Board. <laughs> so today on the Kilter Board, I decided to uh, shoot some uh, beta videos to load up onto the Kilter Board app. Um, I went and I chose um, some easy-ish problems, so you know, v 8 around the V7, V8, V9 range uh, without that have very few sends and don't have any beta videos posted up. So I thought it'd be useful, especially for those uh, who are looking for a bit of beta, trying to work through some of these things and maybe get some sends. And uh, there's a few of these problems that I did do that have alternate beta to it if you wanted to shoot your right hand or climb things slightly differently. So I will have separate videos coming up explaining specifically of these. They'll be a lot shorter. Uh, I'll hopefully try them to keep them within 10 minutes, I hope. Uh, just to show that there's different ways of climbing stuff, even on the kilter board. So later on after this, uh, we lowered the, well, we, when I mean lowered, we reduced the angle of the overhang. So we raised the board up to 40 degrees as is to the 50 degrees that it is on right now. Uh, because we raised it up, uh, it will take a little less strain on my finger. So uh, there is one hard problem that I tried that day here. And this is not it. It'll be right at the end. And I figured that there would be a lot more crimping. There would be a lot less crimping involved on that one. So I figured it was okay. It didn't really hurt my fingers. This one again. Uh, I believe this one is called Lock Offs. I decided to campus through this section just because I wanted to and I thought it was a lot more fun. Uh, there is another way to climb it. You can throw a heel hook up and walk your way through. So, um, yeah, so that would make it a little bit easier or even bumping your hands through. I believe this one here is a V8 called Frosted Tips. And uh, this one was purely just that I just climbed it because it looked really really fun and it had more pinches and relatively large holds even though the moves were relatively big and again just another plug out for uh, my own account if you want to follow my account for my weekly or whenever I do randomly post up some of these kilter board stuff and uh, hopefully it'll be enjoyable for you guys hopefully if you guys like it then you could send me a message or send me something uh, and ask to see uh, what problem you'd like to see climbed and uh, hopefully I'll put that on the list and uh, put her up and yeah and I might even run through uh, I'll probably run through my train of thought and uh, just how to position your body or how to get into that position and also on uh, the other account which is uh, Ad Friction as uh, we do Moonboard Mondays where I'll be posting up my progress going through uh, the benchmarks on the Moonboard And again, same deal goes for that one. Please uh, shoot me a DM uh, or give me a message down here and uh, name of the problem. Hopefully it's on, it has to be on the Moonboard 2016 edition by the way, because that's all I have access to. Or the Kilter Board here, which is the 12 by 12. And uh, I'll try my best to see if I'm 
I could be of any service to you guys. Alrighty, so finished session. Actually not too bad. Had to take it a little easy on a few of the crimpy problems, but not too bad as the fingers warmed up. Um, yeah. Uh, so as you guys saw, had to take it a little easy on some of them. I didn't give uh, the black one as many goes as I would probably have liked or even am probably capable of. So yeah, as the fingers feel a little sore, you really just gotta sometimes be smart and you just gotta stop. I guess the smartest thing would realistically be just not to try it, right? I know people be like, oh, you should not try it if your fingers are hurting and stuff. But you also gotta try something, you gotta test the limits out. You gotta see how hard you can pull on it because, you know, climbing is fun. And uh, so that was the end, that was a good session. Uh, just played on the kilter board, overview. Yeah, not too bad.